Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios as division. This is standard 6.4D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a baseball that travels 330 feet and it does that in five seconds. We need to find a rate that is equivalent to the rate at which the baseball travel. And you notice that each of these rates have a per, which means if we wanted to rewrite this rather than words, we can say 55 feet. We'll kind of use that as a fractional notation, 55 feet per second that division bar, that slash, lets you know that that's a per. Same thing we could do, 66 feet per second. And we've got the same numbers down below in C and D. What they simply do is they switch the numerator and the denominator, seconds per foot, and then 66 seconds per foot. So we can start looking at that as fractional notation. So how do we figure this out? 33 feet per second. Well, it's a rate, so we're assuming it's a constant rate. So if we're looking at feet per second, that's what we have here, one thing we can do is we can go ahead and take these two out of here. Take a look at these two. Seconds per foot, seconds per foot. They actually reverse the order of the units and it needs to be feet per second. So it's either going to be A or B. So we can eliminate two answer choices immediately. And how do we figure out this 330 feet for five seconds? Well, if you see it as a fraction, you know that means we are going to have a division problem. So yes, let's go ahead and divide. We're going to take 5, make that our divisor. We're going to take 330, make that our dividend. And that is going to get us our feet per seconds that we're looking for. So basic division. 5 goes into 3 zero times. 5 goes into 33 six times. That's going to be 30. We're going to bring down this 0 here. And we do it all over again. 5 goes into 30 six times. 6 times 5 is 30. There is no remainder. So I've got 66. And if we wanted to put our units back in, remember it is the feet. We did the feet per second here. Feet per second. So it looks like our answer is going to be this B. Now... How do we get that 55 feet per second? What did they do on that? Well, for some strange reason, you can get it if you were to divide the 6 into 330. So if you were to divide 6 into 330, 6 goes into 3 zero times, 6 goes into 33 five times, and that is going to be 30. And then 6 goes into 30, you do it all over again, that's going to be 5, 5 times 6 is 30, there's nothing left over, so you can get the 55 feet per second. But here's the million dollar question, why in the world would you divide by 6? 6 does not show up anywhere in our problem. You might be thinking 5 times 6 makes 30, so I think the problem here is you might have been doing, if you chose to divide by 6, you might have been doing a little bit of mental math ahead of time, trying to figure out, well, 5 goes into 33 6 times, and then if you just end up flipping those two and, and you just divide by 6, you could end up getting uh, this 55 feet, and then it shows up. But that is incorrect. We are not dividing by 6. We are dividing by 5 because it was... 5 seconds, 330 feet in 5 seconds, so our answer is going to be B.